Hello, Oracles. Well, it's that time of month again where I'm going to share with all of you my income, investments, and expenses for the last month, all the progress I have made. And this way, I'm not doing it to show off or anything. It's just a matter of I'm showing you guys I am doing what I'm saying I am doing and giving you guys some ideas as to what you could potentially do to help yourself in the future as well. So two things before we get into this today is yesterday, I made a lot of investments into this business, into this channel, I am growing this business significantly more outside of the channel as well. I have a whole website that is getting built at the moment. There's a lot of other things that are in the works right now. I will share all of that with you guys as it comes to fruition. But I'm extremely excited to finally take this and my business to where I want it to go to. And I have you guys to thank to be able to get me to the point where I'm at right now. So thank you guys all so much for this opportunity. Next is, for those of you guys who are content creators out there, I talk about multiple streams of income. One of those things is affiliations. So I am affiliated with TubeBuddy. This is something that I do use every single day. And Vin from Investment Club had actually introduced me to it. It has made a world of difference on this channel. So if any of you guys are content creators out there looking for a way to build your channel up even more and potentially make some money through an affiliation through them as well, check out that link down in the pinned comment below. So to jump right into it, for those of you guys who saw last month, I was actually negative in the cash flow area, strictly because of the fact that I was awaiting my bonus from my job. So that ended up coming through, but I only got half of it. What was beneficial though is through YouTube, I had actually gotten a bonus through them as well, which compensated for some of it. So I was back to that net free cash flow positive place again in this month. Very happy about that. Now we're looking to grow things going into the future. I still at this point do not know if my full-time job is going to give me the other half of my bonus that I deserve. But again, I am looking to build my own business outside of that to take this to places that my full-time job could never take me. And so to break it all down for you guys, and again, I like to be as transparent as I possibly can be with you. So my full-time job brought in almost $4,700 for the month. YouTube brought in almost $1,900. $600 of that was the bonus through the membership program. So all of you guys who are members, thank you so much. I actually did not realize that I was going to be getting this bonus. So this was a very nice surprise. And I thank all of you guys as members. There are significantly more bonuses and perks coming to the membership program as well in the future. I just started uploading some little quick videos for all of you guys over there as well. So if anybody's interested in becoming a member, there are more and more things getting added to that. There's even going to be some one-on-one -on -one time slots that you guys can book with me to be able to discuss things on all levels, from health and fitness, to finances, to stocks and investing, to anything else in life. I have a lot of experience with a lot of different things. Someone had asked a question over on Twitter what we are an expert at, and I realized I'm an expert at the basics of a lot of things. And many things are beyond the basics, but I have a wide breadth of knowledge of a lot of things, so I can certainly add some insight to you guys in whatever areas you're looking at growing. And you guys may grow outside of my realm of knowledge, but I know a lot of other people who are smarter than I am in many specific fields. So I would be able to point you guys in a direction to take you to the next level as well. So that is something I'm going to be adding to the membership and Patreon program. Speaking of Patreon, I brought in $62 from Patreon last month as well. Now my freebies ended up dropping. So my freebies, I had been bringing in nearly $40 a month from that. However, my freebies were mostly coming from BlockFi. And as most of you guys know, BlockFi was owned by FTX. They ended up going bankrupt. So their credit card has been shut off. So all the freebies I was getting, I am not getting currently. They're in the works. I might get them again in the future. However, I have now switched cards over to SoFi. SoFi, I'm getting 2 to 3% back in cash. So that will become my new freebie. And so looking at all of my investments, I put another $1,000 into savings, I put $600 into stock, $460 into my IRA, and $87 into crypto. I ended up increasing my crypto allotment just because I feel like it's kind of near the bottom. And I do think despite everything going on with FTX, those are really just the platforms that are crumbling right now. The cryptocurrencies themselves, as long as they are good, solid ones, personally, I have uh, Bitcoin, I have Ethereum, I have Dogecoin, and I have ADA. I do have Shiba just because that's my fun one. Otherwise, that's it. And I do think that they are still going to do well in the future. So I just increased my investment allotment on those a little bit. And then I've got all of my expenses as well. And then here's my YouTube expense of $378. I like to show you guys that I do invest most of what my income is from YouTube 
Patreon and all of that back into the channel to help grow it because I like to give back to you guys. And the way I can currently do that is by giving away perks or increasing the content value of the channel itself. And that is what I'm currently working on. And that is what you guys are going to be seeing in the December version of this because you'll see all the expenses I made when it comes to a marketing manager, a brand manager, my website, and all of that stuff uh, will be going into next month. And so overall for the month, I brought in $6,625. I invested $2,147 of that and my expenses were $3,054. So my free cash flow after all of that was $1,424.69. And so that gets dispersed amongst a bunch of different things. Again, some of that got carried over into my December expenses. So that will be reflected in next month. Some of that went into savings as well. And perhaps this is something where maybe I could take that free cash flow and show you guys the breakdown of where I end up distributing that as well. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Now, the other thing I do as well is my hourly wage. My hourly wage is $9.20 per hour. That is based upon every single hour that existed in the month of November. So I like to share that with you guys because as Warren Buffett said, if you can figure out a way to make money while you are sleeping, then you'll become extremely wealthy. Well, while I am sleeping is some of the hours that I'm alive. So I wanna factor all of that in. If I can have my money, make money for me and work that 40 hour a week schedule for me so I don't have to, then I don't need to work. Then I can do what I want to do. That is what I am aiming at right now. That is what building this entire business is for. So this is something else as a member and patron that I can help share with you guys when it comes to my insight and knowledge as to what you can do for yourself to get yourself to a place where you are earning enough passive income where your money is working for you. And then here we have my millionaire breakdown. And this here is just to show you guys the progress that I am making in my growth. I'm not a big guy. I'm not one of these guys who are out there on YouTube with millions and millions of dollars to just you know do whatever I want with. I'm a working man working 55 hours a week doing YouTube on the side and trying to build a business as well with any extra free time that I have. If you wanna to get to a place where you can have passive income coming in like this, there is no secret other than working your butt off. You need to work hard and figure it out along the way. There's gonna be a lot of missteps, there's gonna be a lot of growing pains, but that is what is going to get you to the next place. So I wanna show you guys all the growing pains that I go through. So for you guys who do not know, Five years ago, I was $75,000 in debt. As of this week, I am officially $0. I paid my dad the last little bit of money that I owed him. It is now gone. I have absolutely no debt whatsoever. And for you guys who are members and patrons, I share all of these weekly updates with you guys in my spreadsheets every single Saturday, as long as I can get it out Saturday. But it's, it's once a week I share it with everyone. And I will then do the monthly video so that I can be totally transparent with everyone out there on a monthly basis. So I ended this past week at $12,749 in my portfolio. That is all of my stocks, crypto, and any other cash that is in my portfolio itself. My 401k has $43,844. I have a secondary 401k that I will eventually roll into this. That's $2,954. My Roth IRA is $9,800. I have only two stocks in there. One is QYLD for dividends. That has done me very well this year considering the market being down as much as it is. It does give a 12% annual return. So despite the stock price being down itself, I've actually done very well with the dividend returns on this. The other stock is Tesla, of course. Then I have my HSA, $5,378. And then my savings is $20,540. There was a significant drop in it because I took some of this out and this is what I invested into the website, the brand manager, the marketing manager. All of that got taken out to invest as well. Now out of this also, this 20,000, I do have 10,000 of this in a CD in my TD Ameritrade account because it's giving me a 3.9% return. So I will be getting much more money on that than I'm currently getting from my savings. I am looking to buy a house with this, so I did not want to invest it into Tesla stock. Reason being because if I put it into the stock and the stock continues to trade sideways for the next six months, it's not going to do me any good where I can definitely get a return from the CD on this and then I can have that money to be able to put into a house. I think the housing market is going to come down before the stock market rebounds, so it's a wiser move for me to put my money into this CD at this moment. 
So my total net worth at the end of the month is $95,267. Now, had I not taken that $5,000 out to invest it, I would have hit six figures for the first time. It's kind of a kick in the stones for me to do this. It was kind of frustrating, but this is going to help propel me forward even stronger to get well past that six figures. It's not like six figures was my goal. I'm looking to get far beyond that and build generational wealth for my son and other future generations as well. So this is just a small stepping stone along the way. So my millionaire date as of right now is August 4th of 2028. I have a strong feeling I will get there long before then, but I'm basing these on the numbers that I have currently. And now when it comes to the 401k, the Roth IRA, the HSA, and all of these things, they all have limits, but they are all significant ways to build your wealth for the future and for generational wealth. That is what my entire business is going to be based around, is going to be, is building a better you by investing in life for generational wealth. And these things here, you know, the Roth IRA, HSA, these are tax-free accounts. They are capped out. The HSA, I'm almost putting in as much as I can. Um, but all the other ones, for anyone here in the U.S., I would highly recommend looking into all of these, making sure you're maxing out your employer contributions for your 401k, putting money into a Roth IRA. There's a lot of different things. And again, as a member and patron, these are things I can help you guys discuss. I am not a financial advisor, but I am a friend who has a lot of experience and knowledge in this. And I can give you guys some insights as to what you can do to help better yourself as well. And for anyone else from other areas around the world, let me know what you guys have in your areas because I'm sure that your countries have something relatively similar in manner that you can tap into. And I would love to know what different things you guys have. I know Canada has something totally different. I know the UK does. I've talked to several of you about that. So let me know what you guys have in your country that maybe other subscribers from those areas can benefit from that they don't know about. So all in all, it was a very good month. I am now finishing up the last day of my vacation. And as you guys know, I have been sick for pretty much all of it. Um, I've made the best of it. The last few days have been extremely productive and I'm seeing a very positive light in the future for where this business is going to go. I know tomorrow is going to be extremely frustrating going back to work. I'm going to have to get back into that routine of things. I'm not going to be able to put in as much time into the channel as I was, but hopefully the last few days building this foundation as I have been is going to allow me to be even better for you guys in the future. And again, I want to give a huge shout out to all of you guys, because again, without you, I would not be able to make all of this possible. You guys have allowed me to take myself to the place where I can actually build the business that I've always been dreaming of. So thank you guys so much for that opportunity. So later today, we will finally be having our second episode of Health and Wealth be having Dr. Jack on here as well as my friend Pedro. We're going to be discussing seasonal sicknesses. We're going to be discussing COVID and the flu and what you guys can do to help prevent it. Or if you end up getting it, what you can do to help yourself recover from it. We're going to talk about seasonal depression. This is something that I actually suffer from. So I will share my experiences with you guys around that. Pedro is going to be coming on with a lot of mindset things. He's a personal trainer as well. Very knowledgeable guy that can share some insights with you guys that will help prevent that also. And Pedro is not a big investor. So Dr. Jack and I will be discussing with Pedro different things he can do for his wealth health as well. So we'll be discussing a lot of different things on today's live stream. It will be on at 4 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. I am over on Twitter at Oracle Tim one I share all of the latest Tesla news, pertinent stock market information, and all of my daily trades. We do have a Discord chat. That link is down in the description. And if you'd like to support the channel any further, again, we do have that membership and Patreon program where I can help you guys build your health and wealth as well. Thank you all so much. Have a great one.